to America's West Coast, here in Portland, Oregon, where technology is able to live hand in hand with its green surroundings. Here, technology companies like Intel are concerned with not only being an environmental steward, the environment is actually driving technology. Energy and our environment have always been able to coexist as long as that energy is renewable. But the world today has much less energy to spare, which means the need for energy efficient performance has never been greater. This is especially true in the technology industry. I really believe that technology in its broadest form will be the essence of how the world works through becoming more sustainable. With almost 50% of its energy coming from wind turbines, biomass, and solar, Intel Corporation weighs every leading technological innovation with its ultimate effect on the environment and energy consumption. Intel purchases each year over a billion kilowatt hours of renewable energy. That's the equivalent of pulling 185,000 cars off the road in a single year. I think it's really, really important that we apply technology so that we don't have to compromise our standard of living, but we can, we can use less resource. We are looking into being a green company and find uh, renewable sources for the power we need. One of them is solar, we are also buying energy from wind farms, and so we are just trying to be a better company, be more green and using more renewable resources. In fact, Intel has been recognized by the EPA as being the largest purchaser of green power in the United States. Power that, in turn, is creating new products that deliver energy-efficient performance. We changed the focus of Intel's design. We changed the focus of the way we manufacture, we, the, the way you actually make the integrated circuit itself. And we said, it's not our job anymore to try to make the world's fastest anything. We are going to redesign and we're going to change our philosophy to make the world's most energy efficient processors at different levels of performance. Focusing on the environment goes hand in hand with improving our business. So as we make our operations more energy efficient, we use less water, we use fewer chemicals, that benefits our bottom line. Focusing on the environment, we believe at Intel is simply the right thing to do. Our commitment going forward is every generation we're going to deliver better performance, but we're going to do it in the same or smaller power envelope. Yet concern for leaving a diminished carbon footprint does not decrease our demand for ever more powerful computing capabilities. Research is still paramount at Intel, where innovation can translate into extraordinary computer experiences. A product that we're really excited about is the Intel Xeon 5500 processor. So this is a volume processor that goes into server products and into large data centers. Compared to what's in the installed base, we can do nine times as much work with servers based on the Xeon 5500 and consume less power overall. Because we've made our processors so much more efficient, we've been able to save our customers terawatts of power and been able to then put less demands on the, on the power generation system. Intel's green technology is pushing the boundaries of innovation beyond anything we could ever imagine, all the way to NASA's Advanced Supercomputing Center in California. Here, Intel's newest computer chips have augmented NASA's supercomputer with 135% more brain power to advance its global climate change research. That requires climate modeling, it requires a lot of simulation, and NASA is actually taking our components, uh, obviously embedded in our customer servers, and doing work with them that really has a huge impact on the environment. The environmental challenges facing us today are greater than any one company can solve. But together, green innovation and green technology are making a difference.